For this one, I'm going to show you all how to create a paintbrush text reveal effect in Adobe After Effects. Just like always, we're going to use the text tool, left click on the screen and type in any letter or number that you want it to be. We're also going to center align the anchor point and then center align the text in the middle of the screen. I want to make it very clear that I will be using a paid plugin called Volna 2. In order for this to work is we need to create two separate masks. The way that this works is that it creates a bridge between the two masks. Since we have a more complex looking letter, we're going to separate it into two different parts. Starting with the upper half first by using the pen tool, you just want to zoom in and then we're going to select this layer and you want to start on the inside or the outside and make yourself a nice clean selection. You just want to simply left click, drag this out and curve it onto here. If you left click just normal, it will create you a straight line. If you left click and drag, it will curve it. We need to make this one straight right up to here and then drag this one out. We're going to end this one right here. And then once you've got yourself the first mask created, we're going to left click off of this, reselect it, and then create the inner mask. And then once again, you want to end this one right here. Once you've got yourself the two masks, we're going to search for Volner effect and you want to drag and drop it onto your text layer. And in order to make this effect work, we have to link them with mask one to mask one and then mask two to mask two. And there we go. We now have these three simple lines. We're going to increase the number count to around a good 300 and open up the stroke offset. In order to create the animation, we have to left click on the stopwatch and set the first one to zero. If you go further out, set this one to 100, you will now see if you go back, this will create you this animation. Now, at the moment, nothing is going to happen. You're just going to have this straight line so to create that brush effect we have to open up the randomize and then increase the offset random the higher the number the more aggressive is going to be but for us we want it around let's say six we just want it to do this effect right here as you can see it will come down brush onto this mask and there we go you may also run into this problem right here, which is the lines will go outside of the mask. And to fix this, all you need to do is open up mask one, open up the base points density. And then if you double left click on here, you can create yourself another point. If you drag this up and then create another one right here, you can adjust this up until this area is tightly on to the mask. So we're just going to create this ramp. And there we go. That's looking a lot better now. We have this nice smooth animation. If you want to make this even smoother, you can select this layer, press U, select both keyframes and then press F9 to easy ease the keyframes. You can also open up the graph and edit the overall graph ramp itself as well. And let's say that we wanted this to be nice and smooth at the start, we can just drag this out by holding shift and dragging the point. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to have a look at your letter and see what would make the most sense. You want this bit to be quick and then go a little bit slower and then quick again. You can also add in multiple points in between. If you get yourself another keyframe, let's say you wanted one here, you can just add a keyframe and you can also edit this point as well. This will also allow you to change it in here. But for me, I'm happy with 
a two point graph. Everything looks good, nice and smooth. All the way to the end. So now what you need to do is you need to do the exact same thing for the lower half. So once again, we're just going to duplicate this layer by pressing Control or Command and D. With this one, we're just going to delete the effect for now. And then we're also going to delete the two masks as well. From here, once again, using the pen tool, repeat the same steps as before, but this time we're going to go on the inside right here and then on the outside as well. Once again, apply the effect onto this layer. We're going to link it up with mask one to mask two as well. Set the count to 300. Make sure the offset is set to six. And for this one, we're going to make it appear right around here. Set the end to zero. Go further out and then set it to 100. Once again, you can press U, press F9 to set the keyframes to easy ease. And if we have a look at this now, you can see we have both working. If you want the animation to be quick, you would drag them closer together. If you wanted to be slower, you drag them further away.